Hi, and welcome back to Writing Light. I know I haven't been around for a while, but I, I've been kind of busy with the release of Havana Lost, which I hope you'll all take a look at. But today I wanted to wrap up our discussion, such that it is, about language. And I'd like to conclude with a thought about the pacing of your language. Sometimes your sentences need to be short and crisp and punchy. Other times they can go on a little bit and you can have a couple of subordinate clauses. You want The point is you want to vary it. And if you have a longer, more involved sentence, you want to follow that up with a short, punchy one. And to give you an example, I'm going to read a passage. It's one of my favorites uh, from Raymond Chandler. And it's about a bar opening up for the evening. I like bars just after they open for the evening, when the air inside is still cool and clean and everything is shiny and the barkeep is giving himself that last look in the mirror to see if his tie is straight and his hair is smooth. I like the neat bottles on the bar back and the lovely shining glasses and the anticipation. I like to watch the man mix the first one of the evening and put it down a, on a crisp mat and put the little folded napkin beside it. I like to taste it slowly. The first quiet drink of the evening in a quiet bar. That's wonderful. That's from The Long Goodbye, by the way. Okay, let's take a little closer look at that paragraph. The first sentence, I like bars just after they open for the evening. Short, crisp, and punchy. The next two or three sentences go on for a while. I won't reread them, you can see them right here. But then the fourth or fifth sentence, I like to taste it slowly, is again short and crisp. And the final sentence is also pretty short. The first quiet drink of the evening in a quiet bar, that's wonderful. Chandler does that very, very well. And I offer it to you in the hopes that you can experiment with your prose and establish a rhythm and an orchestration that'll make you happy too. That's it. I'll be back again next time with another edition of Writing Light.